I trade us a Tuberto and it's Friday, uh, January 15th. And these are the trades that were taken on the FX1 trend indicator. So far, we've had one loss and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 winners. And it's about 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And the trend indicator keeps uh, giving out signals. So we just going to keep executing till the end of the day, which is 5 p.m. Eastern, the market's closed. Um, if you're still interested in the trend indicator, please just log on to our website and just um, buy it. It's only $87 one-time fee, and you'll get bonuses. You will, will receive um, trading signals on a daily basis, and you'll receive videos on how to maximize your uh, trend indicator. So I think I have about four or five more trades open based on the sell triggers the indicator gave us for the past 15 minutes. I'm trading off the 15-minute chart but confirming these trades on the hourly. So on, for example, USD Swiss, the market is in a downtrend. Um, it's been in a downtrend all day, so we're looking at signals. We uh, we, we don't pay any attention to any of the buy signals on a 15-minute chart because that, we know that's going to be short-lived. We're looking for uh, sell triggers. And there was one here on USD Swiss, and there's one here. Now, this one I'm not going to stay in for a very long time because we do have a support level right around there, which is the is there's a hammer on the 15-minute chart. So as soon as I'm in profit, five, six pips, I'll exit the trade. Here are the other trades that were executed about 15 minutes ago, and I'm going to exit New Zealand USD. Let me just show you the chart. Um, there was the sell trigger right there. It's breaking below the uh, central moving, um, moving average line. Notice I'm using a uh, Bollinger Band. So Whenever I see a trigger of around the upper band, then I'll take that. And when I see a trigger on the bottom, I take that. But if it's in the middle, I avoid it. And I'd rather take trades in the direction of the trend. So the New Zealand dollar was in a downtrend all day. And so I took this signal, which was about 15 minutes ago. Aussie CAD was the other trade that we took. And there it is. And it's in a downtrend. And we're going to stay in this trade for a, bit, a little bit longer. The only one is USD Swiss is starting to go back up. So we have, we'll just put a stop loss above the trigger. And because I think it's starting to respect this strong support level right there. But we'll stay in because it is a sell trigger. And, and probably was not, it was a bit risky because it was a sell trigger below the moving average line, the middle moving average line. And normally this is an area that you would be looking to buy. Or up here when it's above the upper band, that's a great level to sell. So it is a bit of risk, but the market is in it's still in a downtrend. So we'll stay in that trade to put a stop loss above that um, sell trigger. On Aussie CAD, we'll stay in this trade longer. So we've got quite a few trades for today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and exit this trade. We've taken, um, I think, about 15 trades. or No, I think about 13 trades so far. And USD Swiss, it looks like it, it's respecting that swing point. And I knew this was, in, this was not the, the highest probability trade setup uh, because it was taken below the bowler jerban this is an area of support and i should have just waited till it turned blue and take it to the upside it is the end of the day but as part of trading we're going to um just let the stop loss take care take us out if it does break above the signal and i think that's it i think we've got um, let me count how many trades for today we're taking this as we started here. 
I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 trades actually that we took today. And for, for the past two weeks, we've been, we're up 8%. Since we started trading this live account on the indicator, we started on the seventh. So it's not; it hasn't even been two weeks. It's only been about a week, eight percent, and in about a little bit more than a week. So there you have it. Um, I'm just going to stay in this trade until it takes me out. And um, let's see. Here's our website: fx-northwest.com. Here's the indicator. There's the buy button. It's only $87. You will receive bonuses, uh, daily signals, and videos like this and others. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend, and happy trading, guys.